How's it going everybody? Jake Adams here and uh, I hope you've enjoyed the steady stream of livestock videos. It's definitely time to switch it up uh, with something a little bit different because uh, one of the things that makes the aquarium hobby really enjoyable in the long term is not just the beautiful corals and the showy fish, and the, but it's also um, a lot of the reef toys. So in front of me I have a variety of different products. We've got a kit here of uh, some miniature fishes, some little toy fishes. We've got the Pakpo uh, miniature aquarium overflow device. We've also got the uh, Tundi Stream 3 and the uh, Tidal 55 or Tidal Power Filter from Seachem, which I've been using for a while. Um, so most of these products are gonna be showing up in some uh, upcoming videos, but today I'm gonna focus on the actual uh, reef toys. So uh, several years ago, I came across some really beautiful uh, miniature replicas, some figurines of some recognizable fish on some Japanese websites. And about a month ago, I set myself uh, on the hunt to find these and finally get them down, track them down. So um, finally got my hands on them. I have not even opened them up yet. You can see they still got the wrapper. Um, these are not cheap. These are about 50 bucks a piece. And one is the uh, coral reef fish. And uh, the other one is the fossil fish. So I'm really excited to open these up because like I said, I really enjoy my aquarium toys, my aquarium figurines. Um, when I go to public aquariums, a lot of times I will go to the gift shop first um, just to see if they have anything cool. And uh, one of my pride and joys here, uh, maybe the founding member of my replica collection, is this uh, Peppermint Angel Fish uh, replica, which is actually signed by Rich Pyle. Um, and this is actually how I met him. I asked him to uh, sign this fish for me. And here's the uh, original description uh, back when uh, aquarium magazines were a suitable place to do that. So uh, without further ado, let's uh, unbox this little kit of aquarium figurines because I uh, can't remember what I got, so I can't wait to see what's inside. <clears throat> so there's uh, two sets that I got. The coral reef fish box right here and the fossil reef fish box right here. So I'm gonna set the fossil reef fish for next and uh, I'm gonna do the coral reef fish here right now. So um, man, it's really cool. It's got a little wrapper. It's got its own little carrying case. So uh, definitely expectations are pretty high for uh, the quality and diversity of uh, figurines we're gonna find in here. So flip it out here so you guys can see and open it up together. Man, I really like this case. The Practical Guide of Coral Reef Fish. Look at that. Um, got a little booklet, a box fish, an emperor, stone agobiops, really? Holy crap, man, there's some really cool fish in here. I got Clown Trigger, Moor Shadow, Napoleon Rass. I think a Napoleon Rass is, uh, that's one of the things that really sold me on this. This thing, and, uh, hmm, uh, oh, okay, so here's some little pegs, and I think these are how you assemble them um, onto their little bases. So here's your your Moorish Idol, uh, Saddleback Butterfly Fish, so that its uh, fins can shine through. All right, so let's pull out the fish. Looks like we got uh, Stonefish, Lionfish, like, a, like an anemone base. Obviously that's gonna go with the Clownfish. Here we go. Oh wow, there's a baby and an adult Emperor Angelfish. Look at that. Very cool. Oh wow, here we go. Here's the Napoleon Rass. So cool. Check out the pattern on this guy. Very cool. All right, so I am gonna take a moment to open everything up and lay it all out, get it out of the packaging. I actually did not expect that this was a build your own kit, but hey, you know, uh, give me a moment. I'm gonna come right back after unpacking all of this stuff. For now, I've opened up most of the packages. As I was opening them up, I realized like, I don't have room to put all this stuff out. So there's a few over here that didn't make the cut. I am going to give you another reaction video, I guess, of uh, the fossil fish. So here we go. What else do we have? Oh, wow, this one has some cool ones. So we've got an Asian arowana right here and it comes with its own base. So you know that one's definitely gonna get opened. Polypterus, but that's an ornate, ornate biker eel right there for sure. Uh, alligator gar, yeah. arapaima, yes. Nice big old arapaima, that is so freaking cool. Lungfish, 
Australian lungfish. This one's definitely gonna be coming out. Look at that bad boy. And then the almighty coelacan. Check that bad boy out. He's got a nice, beautiful shade of blue. Looks a lot like my other one, so. Uh, all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and unpack the ones of these that I actually like. And I'm, I'm gonna put it all together and then I'll give you a nice close up of everything uh, once I'm done. Okay, so now that's all done. Uh, a little bit of a kind of a build your own uh, marine life figure set. So yeah, it didn't take that long once I figured out the, the method um, to put these together. They're really, really beautiful. Um, What's interesting is that the freshwater ones all have their own, um, have their own unique base. Um, so right here we have the uh, needle nose gar right here um, with this kind of piece of driftwood. We've got the uh, um, coelacanth here with the like kind of piece of rock. Freshwater fish all kind of have their own custom bases. Um, these fossil fish, they're really, really cool. Um, the marine fish are kind of neat. Uh, let's see, who, this one right here is the Sonogobiops has um, its, its shrimp partner uh, that goes along with it right here you can see here we you can see the anemone uh, with the clownfish uh, hanging out together so those are okay you know um, they're not like my favorite type of uh, figuring to get the saltwater fish are painted and they're not really quite as uh, impressive as the freshwater fish the freshwater fossil fish are just like really really nice um, just painted but they're also embossed and that's the reason that the uh, fossil fish are really, really cool, um, is they have these really bony scales. So uh, the fossil fish set is really cool. Before I forget, I'm sure somebody's gonna ask, um, this is from a, a company I guess called Colorata, I think is what it's called on the bottom. And I had to find it on a Japanese website. If I can find a link, I'll, I'll put it in the de description. So we've got the Arapaima right here. This is one of the largest freshwater fish species, very beautiful. Um, uh, kind of like a blue golden back uh, arowana, like really blue, really golden. And he's got a little piece of a, like a freshwater plant on the bottom that looks like it could be uh, from an uh, Amazon sword. Really, really beautiful specimen. Um, the lungfish is also really cool looking. Um, a little bit drab by comparison. Coelacanth is one that, uh, you know, is a classic. If you're talking about a fossil fish, you can't talk about fossil fish without talking about coelacanth. So there's that guy right there. Just really colorful, really blue, and kind of on a, on a rocky base like you'd find uh, them living at in the wild. What's interesting is I didn't pull out the needle nose gar until uh, the very end when I gave it a closer look. And um, it's just got this beautiful combination of color and of pattern. You know, I didn't buy the set for all of the fish in there, but a few of the fish, but um, uh, there's a lot of really cool surprises in there. So uh, now I got to figure out a place to put all my new uh, shiny uh, freshwater fish uh, and saltwater fish replicas and figurines. This is the kind of video that's just kind of fun and lighthearted, something a little different from the uh, heavy talk, I guess, of aquarium keeping. But if you like this video, please uh, give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. And if you want to see the uh, deep water fish uh, collection, the deep water set from Colorado, um, I can get it, but it's really expensive. So maybe if I get up to a thousand likes, I will uh, get that set because it was more expensive by a good margin than both these sets combined. But uh, it's got a really cool fish in there. So I figured I'd start with these. And uh, yeah, so it's really cool to like grow my aquarium toy collection uh, so fast all at once. And uh, yeah, very cool. Thanks for tuning in. I'll catch you guys on the next episode.